Emma is taking a bath. A black unknown liquid slowly flowed out of the crevice. Emma did not know. She looked down to see. What is this black piece on the ground? Emma was terrified. Curry to use his hands to plug. Such a big hole. Can two hands plug it? What happened to her body? Emma remembered this morning. She had somehow woken up in the woods. Her body was naked. What did she do last night with whom? Emma doesn't remember anything. Emma had trouble sleeping at night. Tossing and turning about it. I don't know what's going on. Suddenly, an unknown object. It got into both of her legs. Emma was so scared that she screamed for help. When she opened her eyes again, she jumped out of bed. It turned out to be Emma's dream. There was nothing on the bed. Then Emma's stomach turned upside down. This is obviously pregnant. Who is the father of the child even the director does not know. Coming to work at the restaurant. The feeling of nausea came back. The feeling was too strong. She threw up all the food from last week. Jack. He recommended a private clinic to Emma. The lady doctor pulled out a 40 meter long penis. She applied a little lube. She slowly penetrates Emma's lower body. Through the device. The baby is healthy. But who is the father of this baby? It was too late to worry about that. Right now Emma just wants to abort. But as soon as she took the pill, her belly hurts. It's like the baby in her belly is trying to stop her. Since the baby is so spiritual. So why not just have it? Emma talked to the doctor. The doctor told her not to worry. She said it was called prenatal anxiety. If you go swimming, you won't feel bad. But the swim was bad luck. The red fluid was running down Emma's bottom. Emma was still swimming happily in the water. She didn't even know it was a sea of blood behind her. People in the pool were shocked. They all swam to shore. Emma was the only one in there. Seeing the red pool, Emma was dumbfounded. Is it so scary to be pregnant? After stopping the bleeding, Emma lifted her clothes. Her belly has grown again. There were green veins all over it. The hair on her head was thick, is now sparse and sparse. Is pregnancy always like this? In order to find out the health condition, Emma came to the clinic with Jack for a checkup. The doctor said she was healthy. The bleeding was because the baby was growing too fast. The green veins were varicose veins. She also reassured Emma that most pregnant women have these symptoms. Emma was half-heartedly convinced by this statement. When she returned, Jack offered to cook a meal for Emma. Emma was very touched by such a thoughtful gesture. So, she then planned to repay this kind young man. The two of them were about to reach their peak. Emma's eyes flashed back to a bizarre moment. That night, it seemed like a monster with two swollen eyes. They had left a subtle little thing inside her body. Now Emma's interest was gone. She kicked Jack out of bed, and then kicked him out. She may have been victimized by aliens. Emma had to get to the bottom of this. She looked it up on the internet. She did find a pregnant woman. A pregnant woman with veins crawling all over her belly. Emma shaved off her thinning hair, driving her little beat-up car. She found this woman who was in the same situation as she was. When they met, they looked like friends with the same illness. They hugged each other tightly. As they talked, they found out that they were both in that small forest. They woke up naked. It seems that in this grove, there must be a secret hidden in the grove. When Emma arrived at the grove, she was frightened by the strange scene in front of her. A green field sprouted from the straw. The trees inside had been cut down. Just then, she saw another strange scene in front of her eyes. Her stomach exploded instantly. Then she kept bleeding. Soon she fainted from the pain on the ground. When she woke up again, it was already dark. Emma had been in this weird little forest for half a day. She couldn't get out. Jack suddenly wrapped his arms around her. I don't know how he found her. Soon Jack took her to the clinic. She was seen by a doctor. The doctor locked the door as soon as she arrived. This female doctor also has a problem. Sure enough. Emma overheard the conversation between the doctor and Jack. She said she couldn't let her get away again. These two are working together. It's too late for Emma to run. A pregnant woman is being held down on the bed by some doctors. The female doctor is holding her thighs. She was given an anesthetic. Emma stops. When she opened her eyes again, she found her hands and feet tied to the hospital bed. While no one was in the room, Emma was shaking the bed so hard. The picture frame on the cabinet was shaken off. Then she smashed the frame. She grabbed a piece of glass and scratched it against the straps. The glass scraped her palm. The blood kept flowing. Emma couldn't care less about that. It was time to run for her life. Soon Emma escaped from the clinic. Whatever was in her stomach, it had to come out now. Through the little card, Emma arrived at an underground clinic. The male doctor took a large clamp and opened Emma's lower body. I thought it would be a minor operation. But then he waved the electric wand around. 
The doctor was dumbfounded. It's the first time I've seen such a strange thing in my career. I cannot do this job. You should find someone else. The doctor did not care. He threw Emma out. At that moment, Jack came again. Emma hid behind a rock. She picked up a brick from the ground when Jack wasn't looking and threw it at him. But she was hit in the stomach. A wave of pain came. It was too late to go to the hospital. Emma gripped the branch in her hand, clenched her teeth. The baby was born successfully. It looked like a normal baby. Emma cut the umbilical cord with the knife she had with her. She was about to take the baby with her. She was grabbed by a doctor. The baby in her arms was snatched away by the female doctor. As they say, a woman is weak. A mother is strong. Emma bites the man, picked up a knife that fell on the floor, and swung it around. The man was stabbed by Emma. She chases after the woman doctor who grabbed the baby. Emma takes the doctor's car, drives off. When she arrived home, Emma was about to give the baby a bath. When she suddenly realized the child's windpipe seemed to be stuck in something, then the child's mouth twisted a few times. With the sound of a car siren outside the house, the end of the film.